What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. Um, and as you saw in my last video, I gave some tips on how you can sort of bulk effectively, how you can sort of put on mass and stuff like that. So in this video, I'm going to give some tips to do the opposite. So how you can actually lose fat effectively, how you can lose fat safely, and more importantly, something that you can implement you know, for the rest of your life and keep that fat off. So stay tuned. Go in the sun. I'm going to give you a cold hard truth here and the hard truth is 95% of diets don't work. 95% of diets, they don't work. Why? Because you're end up hungry, starving. They're just dumb. All these sort of fad diets out there, 95% of them are complete rubbish. The reason for that is, is that they restrict your calories so much, they take away all your favourite sort of foods that you like, that basically your natural hormone, which is ghrelin, which is a hormone that tells you you're basically hungry, gets to such a high level that you end up binging and putting all that weight back on because you're craving food that much and that's not sort of diet you can sustain for the rest of your life so the fact is they don't work now also another myth out there is there's no such thing as weight loss pills miracle coffees that can burn fat certain types of exercises that specifically burn fat it doesn't exist the only way you can burn fat is being in a calorie deficit now what i mean by that is is you are basically burning more calories or getting rid of more calories than you are consuming. That is literally the only way. First thing you need to do, right, is work out what your maintenance calories are. Now, everyone will have a hard time working out exactly how much calories they need, you know, to maintain or lose weight. Now, a quick and effective method of doing this is, basically, is weighing yourself every single day for seven days. Preferably around the same time if you can. So, wake up every morning, go to the toilet and weigh yourself. So do this for seven days. At the end of the seven days, basically add up your weight, whether it be in pounds or kilograms, and divide that by seven. So that's gonna give you your, your average weight, sort of the weight you are. The reason you do this is because you'll have fluctuations every day of your weight going up due to sort of water retention, what you ate the night before. You know, could be loads of stuff basically. So this will give you sort of an average sort of weight. Now what you also need to do is do the same with calories as accurately as you possibly can. You know, somewhere to try and keep it within 100 if you can, 100 calories. So again, do this for seven days. Add up all your calories you're consuming every day for seven days. And again, divide that by seven, which will give you sort of average calories you're consuming per day. Now, once you've got that, you need to repeat again for the second week. Now, if your weight has stayed the same and your calories around stay the same, that's your maintenance calories, so you can work that out quite easily. If your weight has gone up and your calories are the same, it means you are slightly eating more than you need. So you need to cut that down slightly. So now you've got that, what you need to now do is, you need to cut those calories down in order if you want to burn fat. Now, do not dramatically cut your calories. Don't half them, don't take a massive chunk out because it ain't gonna work. You need to slowly restrict them by about 200 calories per day, which over the course of a week is gonna be about 1400. Now, what that does, it doesn't shock your body into thinking, you know, into survival mode that like you're suddenly starving. It's a very small deficit, which is going to work perfectly for you, and it's going to be something that's not going to really, you know, make your body, you know, shocked or something like that. So what you what you actually find is the the funny thing is, the place where you want to lose it the most is probably the place it last comes off from. So for me, I usually get quite a lot of fat around my stomach area. It doesn't literally go anywhere else. So if I'm trying to go on a diet, I will literally lose it from my arms, from my legs from my chest, from my back, everywhere first, and then the last place, the very last place, is my stomach, which is, it's annoying, right? You've just got to keep with it. When, you, when you're sort of seeing yourself and thinking, you know, my fat's not going down, what's going on? It's just, that's the last place it'll go from. So, I know what you're telling me, right? You're saying, Alan, what kind of diet is there that I can, you know, have this less calories and, and burn fat, which I can sustain? Well, the fact is, there is actually a specific diet you need to actually be on. So, if you love eating pizza, you love eating burgers, you love donuts, you love, I don't know, lasagna, you love, you know, pancakes in the morning. Keep that in your diet, it's just the way you make them. So, believe it or not, there's much more better ways to make your food which are less calorie dense. Now, granted, they're not gonna taste as amazing as, you know, a full fat cheeseburger with all the trimmings and fair enough, you know, you're not gonna get, you know, a, you know, a thick crust pizza with your favorite meats on and salami and everything like that. But what you can do is slightly change the way you cook it. What I mean by this is if you love pizza right instead of making it on the normal pizza base buy that sort of like you can buy sort of like flatbread or like the vash bread I think it's called. It's basically really really thin bread but it has literally half the amount of calories and all you have to do that is make your pizza normal way but use like low-fat cheese 
um, and use something like lean turkey on it or you know some sort of lean meats on there and yeah for granted it's not going to taste as amazing as you know your local Domino's pizza but you're still eating pizza and it's something that you will be able to you know sustain throughout your diet trust me for me personally you know I love French toast and you know eating normal French toast is quite high in calories but there's a simple method where you basically make it with egg whites and a bit of cinnamon and you use low fat syrup afterwards and I can literally have four or five slices in the morning with low fat syrup and it's literally five six hundred calories that's it so basically I'm full so I'm full because of the amount of volume of eight but I've literally had half the amount of calories I would have if I cut that French toast normally now that's the same with all your foods so basically what you want to do is get calorie, low calorie dense foods, but high volume. So that's it, yeah, so work out your maintenance calories and cut it down very slightly. So like I said, it only needs to be a couple of hundred. And when you get into a plateau, cut it down again. And you need to replace your foods with high volume foods. Make sure you're full. And stuff like veg, you know, salads, using low fat cheeses, low fat milk, you know, egg whites, stuff like that. Changing the way you cook stuff is the key to doing it. Because you can still eat the things you like. And what you'll find is, is that Actually, some days you'll you know you'll have some calories spare where you can have that donut, you can have that chocolate bar, you can eat the things you love, um, you know stuff like that. And I wouldn't as well, you know, have a cheat day in there because if you have a cheat day in there, what happens is you're basically telling your mind you've got something to look forward to. So, so your mind for the whole week is just going to be on that one day thinking, oh, it's Saturday's coming up, I can get you know I can get a massive burger and milkshake. Don't have a cheat day. Just put small little cheats into every single day. You know, like I said, this is a diet you can sustain for the rest of your life. And when you get to a point where you're happy with the amount of fat you lost, or you're happy with, you, with your weight, whatever that might be, like I said, there isn't a perfect weight or perfect shape, just whatever you're happy with, you can then stick with that diet, you know, for the, for the rest of your life. So yeah, so thank you for watching today. If you did like this video, please give a thumbs up in the bottom corner. Also, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn the little bell notifications on. Because, like I said, I'm trying to release one video every week if I can, and you really don't want to miss it. So I'll see you all next time. Go insane, yeah. I hit you with a bullet to the brain. Let us stop first, cause we going and going insane.